Hey guys, this is Samuel to Geek, and uh, today I'm going to reserve all of the Samuel Rambles time to a topic that I think really needs to be discussed, but no one gives a shit. Now, I have never agreed with Truth Setting Ifrit. I have never thought he made a good video, ever. I thought all of his videos were, un were just basically unintelligent, misinformed, uneducated, just awful. However, the one I have sympathized with recently is actually the one I've really criticized and made fun of. But what's ironic is that the reason I do think that our community sucks is because of people like True Setting You Free and P-Bone who, like who like to argue over arbitrary shit. Now, over the past day or two, I've been thinking about our community a lot. And one thing that has shocked me is that people don't demonize the proper things. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube demonize Microsoft, demonize video game companies, when these are the people that are supplying you with the medium that you enjoy. However, who aren't you demonizing that could ultimately affect your medium. Oh, if you haven't if you guys have never heard this term before, this proves how out of the know you are. It's called the term is called ultraviolent. This is a term specifically used for video games. Ultraviolent in the long run ultimately means nothing because it's a fake made up term to make video games sound more violent than movies or music. But the fact is, they don't. They aren't more violent than movies or music. It's a perceived notion by those who don't play video games. And the term ultraviolent has been coined, and we have yet to demonize it. And people constantly use the word ultraviolent. I hear it in every single anti-video game argument. We have to stop these ultra-violent video games. Terms like this are brainwashing techniques that many people have learned over the years. And through these terms like ultra-violent, they will trick Nana and Pip-Hop to vote against video games. And in case you haven't heard, California State Legislature and the Supreme Court are, are getting memos about ultra-violent video games, and they might ban ultra-violent video games. What the scariest notion is about this is that no one can properly define ultra-violent video games. It could be anything from, you know, Street Fighter 4 to Mario. It, there is no proper term for ultra-violent video games because ultra-violent is a fucking made-up term. This gives the government extreme power over our video games here in America. And America is the last video game uncensorship haven. Japan has major restrictions on video games. Even though it may not seem like it, they do. Australia has the most legislature on video games. Germany, tons. There are tons of restrictive legislature on video games on every other country in the world, except America. And we're next. We're already getting more restrictive with our ESRB ratings. Why are games rated for 17 plus individuals? Why do we have more restrictions on video games rated 17 plus than movies. Why are people who are who have committed committed crimes? Why does owning a video game system get profiled on there as if it was a weapon? Did you know that many people who commit crimes, if they have a gun, it's not even, you know, noted on their criminal reports? But if they own an Xbox, it is. 
the fact is, is that we sit here and argue about stupid shit, about complaining and just crying over mostly optional shit, like whether, you know, Borderlands DLC is being released too early. We will sit here and whine about Borderlands DLC being released too early, or how Microsoft is charging for online. But we won't step back and look at the government trying to publicly attack our rights, our medium, our the hobby we all enjoy as one common person. We will sit here and cry about internet drama that really is all fake. 90% of the internet drama I've been in, I'm acting. I don't give a fuck. Like, there was a reason why I put bone pee in the fucking title of my last response. I don't give a shit about these people. These people are dumb, in my opinion. I mean, nothing against P-Bone, but really? You, you make a really uneducated statement about Microsoft... Bungie and Activision's dealings with the newest Activi Activision and Bungie, you know, debacle. And when I correct you on some stuff, and I make a sarcastic little comment, like, I bet you've never even played Halo before. Like, that's how I would have said it to you, right there. And you make a video about it. This is the kind of shit that makes people look at our community and go, Maybe these ultra-violent video games do affect the human psyche. The fact is, is that people have preconceived notion about people who play video games. And you're only proving them right. People like True Setting You Free and a lot of the people here on YouTube are proving them right. Showing that we will get physically upset and angry over pieces of fucking plastic. Do you see people in movie forums, in movie, pe just movie enthusiasts here on YouTube crying and whining like we do? You don't. You don't see it. It makes our hobby look juvenile. It makes our medium look stupid to people who don't play video games. You guys are what is keeping our community and our medium from being taken seriously. And it's this type of shit that makes our communities look dumb and make us look dumb and make people think about passing laws on restricting and banning video games because of ultra-violence. And that is the truth. And the truth will fucking hurt. This is the real truth setting you free. Because the fact is, is that sitting here bitching and moaning about companies in our industry does not make our industry look good. Or our medium look good. Because it shows that the consumers are stupid. Like, really? Really? The only way to fight against think is that against stuff you think is bullshit is not to buy it. And we don't do that. We will rather sit here, buy it, and then complain about it than actually not buy it and ignore it. Look at the movie industry. They didn't embrace Blu-ray right away. They thought it was too expensive. So you know what they did? They didn't fucking buy it. And when they didn't fucking buy it, the prices went down. That's how a progress, that's how a, a medium that progresses properly works. But the video game industry and community is stunted by idiots who just whine and complain for no reason. Instead of trying to politically correct the companies, maybe you should try to politically correct the idiots that are attacking our industry every day and making legislature going to California and the Supreme Court about banning ultra-violent video games. A term that is made up so it can mean anything. It can be anything from Splinter Cell to Super fucking Mario. And you're sitting here whining and complaining because Microsoft made a subscription plan. 
The fact is, is that the video game community needs to grow the fuck up or not take shit seriously. Because it makes us all look stupid when you look stupid. Samuel out.